Hi, it is Friday, October 9th, 2015. This is Wes Fryer, and I'm here in one of our Macintosh computer labs at school, and I am doing a configuration of Apple Remote Desktop, which is a remote control software program. I think it's $80 now in the um, Apple App Store, and what it allows you to do is remote control computers. And so we've had the software, and it's been used a little in the past, but I'm getting it set up for our teacher who uses this lab every day so that she is able to lock the screens of the student computers when she wants to have their full attention and she can also uh, do demonstrations to actually do that on their screen and then do some remote things like uh, copy software. And I'm about to install Minecraft EDU and I kind of wanted to just get the remote desktop stuff set up and so I thought for my own purposes as well as others this might help. I'm just going to document the steps that I'm taking to basically rename student workstations. We've got, I think, 18 student computers in here, and then what I'm doing over on the teacher computer. So, step one is going to be you're going to purchase Apple Remote Desktop. You don't have to get a CD like this old version from probably 2007. You can just go to the App Store and download it, and all of your computers should already have the current client for Apple Remote Desktop installed. So I'm going to go over and make a couple changes as far as names in the system settings for a student computer, and then I'll come back here to the teacher computer and show you what I'm doing there. All right, so over here in uh, system settings, I am going to make a few changes. Um, this is going to be computer 5, and so uh, this is just kind of a um, cosmetic thing, but this is our lower division lab. So I am typing LD lab and I'm using hyphen and then the number. So this is going to be L LD Lab 5. So I'm renaming the hard drive there just as a, as a visual. Um, and I actually do have to put in my administrator credentials. And this is the local, if I can spell administrator right, this is the local administrator account or a local administrator account. I'm going to have to set my phone down for a second. Much faster to do that with two hands. That's the local account uh, to be able to make that change. So just that's just renaming the hard drive. That doesn't do anything as far as how things are visible on the network. That's what I've got to do here um, in in the system settings. Now we're actually running Yosemite uh, right now, which is um, iOS 10.9. This will change a little bit with the or no, wait a minute. I guess this is Mavericks. Is that right? 1010 is now out, and we're, we're, we haven't updated yet. So some of this may change just slightly. But um, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on Network. Let me go back and show that. So I'm going to click on Network, and I'm going to make a couple changes here to the name. So this shows how we're wired to Internet. We've got an IP address. I'm going to click on Advanced, and I'm going to go in here under Wins. And so um, this computer was already set to be five. We have some that are kind of out of order, so I'm just doing a different naming uh, syntax. But this is the Windows work group that um, we use here at our school, and uh, this is going to be the NetBIOS name, which is what is going to be visible uh, in certain protocols so that, th so that this computer is visible. So I'm going to go ahead, or it's going to be you know named there and, and visible under that name. So I'm going to go ahead and apply that change. I'm also under advanced. Um, well, I guess no, actually not. Uh, so I made I made that change here under the network settings. So I'm going to go back to show all, and this time I'm going to click on sharing, and um, I'm going to click edit, and I want this computer uh, to be o dash o five, not fifty five o five. And um, then I also want to go over here to remote management, and I want to make sure um, that I've got uh, this turned on. So having remote management turned on here is going to allow remote desktop to connect to this. Now, I actually haven't solved this mystery. There's a DNS name. I think that's assigned maybe by our DNS server. And I have, that's not something I think I can, I can change here locally, but that's what I'm really changing right there. Computers on the local network can connect now to LDLab-05. So, uh, and I guess I can change that up there. Um, but when I click edit, that's what's actually changing the name on the local network. So there's a WINS ne um, name that we changed, and that was over in network settings. And this is for the uh, Windows servers and, and the Active Directories, it's called, you know, it's going gonna, it's gonna to see this. 
And then over here under sharing, this is what Apple Remote Desktop is actually going to see here. It's going to see this computer as LD Lab 5. Okay, so this computer is now all set and configured and ready to be remote controlled. So I'll go back over here to the teacher computer and what I am going to see uh, here, I'm, I'm in remote desktop. I'm on scanner, so it's showing me all the computers that are just popping up um, with Bonjour that are being detected. And there's the computer. I'm gonna, you know, it's not, it has a sort of lighter color. It's not dark blue. So I'm gonna double click on it and I'm going to click edit. And what I'm gonna need to do is just basically retype the password. This has gotta be a local account that, if I can type this and talk at the same time, a local administrator account on that computer that will allow you to have access to it. It's whatever is set up on that computer. And now that I've put that password in again, you can see that it's controlled or it's, it's changed to dark blue, which means I can control it. So I had already gone here and added a new list. And so I am putting this into the list for the Mac lab. So here it is. So what I can do now is I can do command A, uh, select all and if I go to interact lock screen over here these computers are are not locked I can say lock screen lock and then wow look what happened all those computers just had a lock go on them and I can I can do all kinds of remote control things here from the uh, interact screen so I can go back to interact and I can unlock screens um, I guess actually I want to select all those. So I'll select all the computers with command A and I'll say unlock screen, unlock screen, and now da -da, all those screens go back to how they were. So anyway, I hope that's been helpful to you. Again, this is Apple Remote Desktop. It's available for about 80 bucks on the administrator computer. And then uh, for the computers you're controlling, uh, you, you just need the client software uh, installed and updated, and that should be done already um, on the latest operating systems.